Hey, uh, welcome to number three in our series of public domain songs. Um, today we're going to be doing Big Rock Candy Mountain by Harry McClintock. And uh, it is public domain, yeah. so feel free to do your version and, and post it. No copyright or licensing issues, and uh, so you don't have to feel guilty. And uh, some of you may remember the song from the Yo Brother Where Art Thou soundtrack. And uh, that's what kind of turned me on to the song, although I think I may have heard it before. Um, but it inspired me to learn that song and the, all the other songs on the album and, and uh, other folk songs. And I just love this really old-timey music. And um, Harry McClintock actually did, from my research, live the life of a hobo called Haywire Mac. And he wrote the song back in 1895, believe it or not. And um, it was actually a raunchy version from some reports. And it was called, back then it was actually called The Apple Knocker's Lament. And an apple, knock, apple knocker is someone, uh, a young boy with an older man, if you get the drift. And um, it was actually pretty raunchy about a, a young kid being lured into the life of an older hobo man, and, and, and uh, you don't want to know the rest. And uh, the, you know, the kid gets away at the end, though, so uh, at least it's kind of a good ending. But it was probably tongue-in-cheek. And, uh, and, but anyways, uh, when it came to the 1930s and wanted to record it, obviously he had to clean up the lyrics. So he uh, cleaned up the lyrics and just wrote it as a fun song, The Fun Life of a Hobo, and, and um, you know, about alcohol and cigarettes and riding the rail and things like that and the stuff they encountered. And uh, that's actually, you know, a couple of these words I had to kind of look up because they're kind of culture, culture words, you know, the... the, 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 the in the hobo culture, they use certain words, and to us today, we wouldn't kind of quite understand it. And, uh, like, for instance, in the, in the first verse, it says, One evening as the sun went down and, they, and the jungle fire was burning. And, um, you know, when I first heard that, I'm thinking, a jungle? This is America. There's no jungle in America. But they called the, you know, the woods where they all went to sleep and eat and hang out, you know, and, and were, that, uh, they called that the jungle, the hobo jungle. And so it was just kind of phrased. So if you hear that word, that's what they're talking about. And then uh, down towards the end, uh, they talk about uh, um, uh, the brakemen have to tip their hats and the railroad bulls are blind. And um, I had to look up railroad bulls because I was thought, you know, maybe a bull and, or a bulldog or whatever. But it was actually, they, they hired these, uh, you know, like, Today they probably are bouncers that work in bars, but they would hire, you know, big, burly, violent men with clubs, and, and back then they, they didn't have to worry about the law, you know, saying they went too far. They could, they could pretty much do anything, and, and, and if they caught, you know, non-paying customers, um, yeah, they, would, they would beat them, and, and a lot of them got injured, and a lot of them got killed. Actually, a lot of them got killed because you had to jump out before they got to the train station, the train yard. That's when they, and the trains would stop. They would... The, the, the bulls would run up and, you know, walk up and down and open the boxcars, and they caught you sleeping, you know, passed out in there. They'd beat you, and so the hobos would try to jump off uh, before they got in the yard, and a lot of them died, lost their legs, you know, and, and uh, so it was kind of brutal life, but, uh, but anyways, you know, it's a, it's a uh, really got uh, popular, the Billboard charts around 1939, but, um, yeah, your parents... If you're my age, probably know uh, the version that came out in 1949 that Burl Ives did, and and he you know made it safe for children. He turned the streams of alcohol to streams of lemonade and and other stuff, and made it a fun song. So, and um, but I'm going to be doing the Harry McClintock version tonight. Um, I like that, and I hope you all like it. So uh, feel free to print out the chords and the words and play along and, and do your own version and. Uh, um, you know, hit me with a YouTube message, and, and I'll su subscribe to yours, and you subscribe to mine, and, and uh, let's, let's get a, you know, a folk music circle going, or whatever, uh, or whatever, you know, just uh, say, hey, you know, for whatever anyway, so, but anyways, here it is, uh, Big Rock Candy Mountain, uh, from Harry McClintock, back in 1935. Fire was burning, down the track came a hobo hiking, 
And he said, boys, I'm not turning. I'm headed for a land that's far away, beside the crystal fountains. So come with me and we'll go see the big rock candy mountain. Big Rock Candy Mountains There's a land that's fair and bright Where the handouts grow on bushes And you sleep out every night Where the boxcars are all empty And the sun shines every day Oh, the birds and the bees and the cigarette trees Where the lemonade springs Where the bluebird sings In the Big Rock Candy Mountains In the Big Rock Candy the cops have wooden legs, and the bulldogs all have rubber teeth, and the hens lay soft boiled eggs, and the farmer's trees are full of fruit, and the barns are full of hay. We're all bound to go where there ain't no snow, where there ain't no fall, and the wind don't go to the Rock Candy Mountain. And the big Rock Candy Mountains, you never and the little streams of alcohol come trickling down the rocks. And the brakemen have to tip their hats, and the railroad bulls are blind. There's a lake of stew and a whisk or two. You can paddle all around them in a big canoe in the big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountains, all the jails are made of tin. And you can walk right in again as soon as you are in. There ain't no shorthand shovels, no axes, saws, or picks. I'm going to stay where they sleep all day, where they hung the jerk that invented work in the big rock candy mountain. I'll see all this coming fall in the big rock candy mountain there it is hope you liked it that is uh, big rock candy mountain of course written by Harry McClintock back in 1935 and uh, you know try to uh, grab a guitar and print out the chords and play along and learn it and and it's a folk song, and you can record your own version, load it up, and no copyright protection, pure public domain. So I'll uh, see you on uh, the number four series in our uh, public domain folk songs, and see you then. See ya.